Money, money, money. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it terrible? Is it dirty? Is it hot? Is it to have or not to have? Is it to be or not to be? The thing with money is that we actually have these so many points of views around uh, that we've picked up that might not even be ours from everywhere, uh, from you know, family, friends, parents, neighborhoods, the community that we grew up in, the religion that we follow, the or whatever that might be. And we are always uh, looking at uh, others for the source of uh, what, how we should be with money and how can we make money rather than tapping into what we know. And the funny thing is that money doesn't have any point of view. Money is money. Money is not good. Money is not bad. Money is not evil. Money is not dirty. Money is just money. It's, it's what we do with it and the points of views that we have that actually um, make it something that it's actually not. So if money was not evil or was not good, was not bad, how much would you be willing to have? And um, how much? And if you had money, what would you create with it? What would you do with it? So we actually take reference points from how we've seen someone use money in a certain way or be with money in a certain way. Or sometimes we haven't even seen that, but we just pick up this point of view about rich people are a certain way. Um, and, uh, you know, it's like, so how many of you have that, have a point of view that if you had too much money, you didn't know what to do with it, that you would be bad, unkind, evil, mean, or uh, disconnected, or uh, is that true? Is that all real to you? What if you start asking, what would I be if I truly had money? And if you truly were money, what if you are the most valuable product in your life and the most valuable currency in your life? What would that look like for you? Would that include money? And what would money look like for you? We have so many definitions of money as well. What is money? Is it cash? Is it home? Is it uh, business only? Is it job? Is it uh, husband? Is it wife? Is it parents? Is it um, land? Is it clothes? Is it gold? Is it jewelry? Or none of that. So what does money mean to you? And all the definitions that you have about money, would you be willing to destroy and create all of that? And for everyone who's joined in who doesn't know what, the, what I'm going to be using right now, it's the clearing statement of the Access Consciousness. And you can find out more about it at www.theclearingstatement.com. So everything that brought up, Right, wrong, good, bad, pock, pot, all natural boys and beyonds. Preeti says, in my point of view, too much and too less, both are bad. I so get that, Preeti. I so had that point of view. I used to, I used to have this conversation and uh, this was a while back, thankfully. But I would have these conversations about, you know, I don't want too much money. I just want this much that, you know, I don't want to be greedy and I don't want to come across as someone who's like chasing money and, uh, and the thing is that uh, in, in this world, money gives you more choice. So how much are you using money to not have all the choice and create everything that you desire to create and you know is possible in the world and as the future? So everything that doesn't allow that can be destroyed and uncreated all. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all natural boys and girls. If you had money, what would you create? If you were not looking at, hey, how other people are using it, how are you using your money? How are you using money? And I'm not even talking about charity and donation necessarily. I'm just looking at 
what are you being are you be are you being abundance if you actually look at look at it around this there's abundance there's plenty full of money to go around there's plenty full of wealth to go around and what is wealth even is it you are you the gift on this planet are you money 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 are you bad are you good and what if the bad and the good is actually just just these two uh, polarities that we use to stop ourselves from being the potency that we can be from stepping up into all that we know is possible like when you look around uh, your around you and you look at what's going on in the world you know something else has to be possible this can't be it so if something else has to be possible even if you're not looking at the world in your life you know something else has to be possible are you asking for more and how much were you told that asking for more was bad so where are you creating how much money you have or how much money you don't have or how you use money or not use money on other people points of view or what you were told or what you bought into or what you create it as a point of view what if none of that was true moving forward what would you be like how much are you not willing to have money because you see that how other people are using it is not creating greater for everybody and what if bad and good are the two polarities that we keep ourselves in hidden behind so we can never show up what if nothing was wrong and nothing was right what would you choose what would you choose today how much money would you be willing to be and have and create and generate see ma madan i have a point of view that if i had too much money how would i take care of it <laughs> exactly <laughs> So everything that that is, would you be willing to destroy and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nice, short, boys and beyonds. Would you be more present in your life in the world? Would you? And how much do we make money significant? Do you have paper sheets of papers and documents and things like that lying around? Okay, maybe not documents, but paper sheets of papers lying around in your home, in your office, in spaces. Do you think about hey? What if what if someone will take it? What if you could be like that with money? And when you actually choose to have more money, you become more present. You become so much more present with it. Like I always, uh, I had that thing of I don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm going to carry very little money in my wallet because if I carry too much, then you know I might just lose it because I'm so clumsy. That was the point of view. that i am uh, you know too clumsy sloppy so i'm going to lose it <clears throat> so a i used to lose my wallet and stuff without and cell phones without even having that much money and since the time i've chosen to have like get a sense of how much money you require to carry in your wallet on you that will create that peace and ease of with money for you that you have money that you be money and you can choose anything and you have choice so um since i've started having money in my wallet i'm so much more present with it i always have a sense and knowing where it is and i'm present with it so how much this is an example of that but how much fun could you have if you had too much money and what if you started there hey okay i'm going to choose to have too much money that i don't know what to do with it now what am i going to choose today that will actualize that so you can get you start getting sense of hey i can choose this today whatever that is for you that will give you the space and the ease with including money in your life like in the sense you might open a bank account that creates an ease or you might um have someone add it to your business to handle your accounts you might um you know talk to a friend over wine and that person might give you information about it hey amandeep hey malvika hey nilantna thank you for joining so does that does that help some seema 
what else is possible? So Taruna Radhani says, I have a point of view. If I had more in my wallet, I would spend it. Um, I would do an interesting point of view. I have that point of view. Okay, if I'll spend it, then how much money do you require to have in your wallet beyond that? So what if you could ask for, okay, is that yours, Taruna? Is that point of view yours or someone else's? Still, Taruna responds to that. I'm just going to read Preeti. And hey guys, this was supposed to be a quickie every live invitation. So we're going to keep it short and sweet. Uh, Preeti says needs and money should be in 1.2 proportion. But then that again is debatable. One, how to measure the amount of need. But what if you didn't create money from need? It's like when you're being needy, let's say with your husband or with your wife or with your children or with your business or with your client. When you're being that energy of needy, like I need you and you know, when you say it like need you in a fun way, it's a different thing. But when you're really being that space of needing it, do they like to hang out with you or friends or do they like to leave? They're like, hey, you too, you know. Get away. Some people actually might like that needy. But so everything that that is, can we destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, papa, shit, bad, and So what if money was not about need, but it was about being you, being the gift that you be, being the most valuable currency that you be in your life, that you have in your life, and creating beyond? And then how would you be using money? So yes, it's fun. Like when you're actually looking at creating your life is yes, you like, what is it that you desire to create as your life, as the world and as the future? And then how much money do you require to generate for that or have for that as well? And you can start being that anyways. So then it's not always about the car and the home and the, you know, uh, that all comes along to play to gift you, to make your life easier, for you to be able, if you're creating a business that requires you to travel all over the world, what, how much money, money, money do you require to have that travel with ease? And so what kind of business are you creating? If you were truly creating your life, what would you create your business as? So, yeah, so Taruna says moms. So yeah, so everything that is, would you be willing to, everybody that you made that yours, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all, right from goodbye, popcorn, and show boys and beyonds? And uh, who, who does it belong to, your mom or anyone else? Would you be willing to return it to sender with consciousness attached? Thank you. Right from goodbye, popcorn, on show boys and beyonds. Return it to sender. Who does it belong to? Return it to sender. It's an amazing access consciousness too. Have a look. And the clearing statement that I've been using is access consciousness clearing statement. What it does is it brings up the energy when you ask a question and it blasts out of existence. It just works. But if you want to know more, you can go visit www.theclearingstatement.com and you'll find out more about it. Um, so I just wanted to leave you guys with one like clearing. Like how many, what definitions are you using to create the money Create the you with money are you choosing? Everything that that is, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, popcorn, or natural birth and dance. And how many definitions of money are you using to keep you from being all of you? Are you choosing? Everything that that is, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, wrong, good, bad, popcorn, or natural birth and dance. What definitions of money are you using to stop you from creating everything that you could be creating with total ease? Are you choosing? Everything that that is, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, all that your boys and beyonds. Because whatever that you are, whatever that's showing up in your life or not showing up in your life is your choice. You're creating it. If you were the creator of your life, what would you choose now? Hi, Nilu. 
So Preeti says, if I would have lots of money, I would like to help people. Cool. Go, I have lots of money. What would you create with money? Preeti, you should definitely not choose that because then world would be a different place to live in. Don't choose it. Don't have money. Too much money. You don't know what to do with it. Wonder what would the world be like if you were being your voice with money. On that note, I'm going to actually sign off. And uh, thank you so much for joining. And um, I have a call coming up today. Um, it's called Unleashing. It's from 7 to 9. It's a one-off, two hours of power right uh, of unleashing your voice with money. Come join me and Radhika and a bunch of us for looking at creating a different financial reality. 